What was that? I knew it. You have done well, my champion. You have earned my respect. A feat few manage and live to tell about. You have earned the right to call yourself my champion. And now you must perform the task for which I created you. You have already proven to possess the needed skills. Go to solitude. Stalk the Jarl, and slay her! I have spread rumors of an assassin. It will make your job harder, but will allow me to place blame where I desire it. You will need stealth and lies to get past her guards. You will assassinate her swiftly and quietly. And if combat finds you, Survive the escape. Succeed, and you may keep your title and my armor. And I shall write your name upon the tablet of absolute blackness. Failure is not an option. I've been instructed to tell all visitors that the Lady Elisif isn't feeling well. She wishes you a good day, and please call again another time. I'm afraid you'll have to come back later. I've been given strict instructions that no one be allowed to trouble Lady Elisif. Yes, the steward is taking visitors. However, I must accompany you at all times while on the royal premises. I suppose you're free to frolic with the wenches in the servants' quarters, but anywhere else, you must have an escort. Yara's orders. If there's someone in the palace who can speak for you and wouldn't mind walking you around, great. Lead me to him. Stay close and in plain view. No funny business unless you want a few inches of steel in your belly. You can sell off that junk at bits and pieces. Been up to the Blue Palace? It is a sight to see. Private Even quarters are strictly address all limits. questions to the You have been warned, Folk Firebeard. Protect the Jarl! What was that? Huh? Dead huh? cat's hiding from me. Leave me alone! Please, just go away. I'm not taking any visitors. Go away! She's telling everyone she's sick. But she's really locked herself in her room because she fears an assassin is out to get her. I know. The poor girl's fright has left her bereft of reason. But there's no talking her out of it. I fear she'll be locked in there for days. I bet she would feel safer. And hopefully you wouldn't have to babysit her for long. Once she calms down, she might start thinking straight again. Let's go talk with her. Stay close. Talk of assassins has the guards jumpy. They might attack you if you're not standing near me. You can sell off that junk at bits and pieces. Elisif? Go away. Please. I've brought you a friend. Someone who can help. A bodyguard. To protect you. I thought you didn't believe I was in danger. It doesn't really matter what I believe now, does it? I've brought you someone who can protect you. That's what you want, isn't it? Stop. Well, what are you waiting for? 
Come in, come in. Shut the door behind you. I'm glad they finally believed me. About the assassin, I mean. It's been so hard since my Torek passed. No one takes me seriously. So how's this work, exactly? Do you just kind of stand there on the lookout? That's what Volgar does. Well, he sort of looms more than stands. Volgar's loyal, but even he doesn't do what I ask. Case in point, this whole assassin thing. Well, at least I have you now. <laughs> Look at me ramble. Well, I guess I'll go about my business sulking in here. You can stand over there in the corner watching for assassins. You have done well, my champion. You have earned my respect. A feat few manage and live to tell about it. Now go. I have strings to pull that require my full attention. You may pursue your own course wherever it leads you. Remember always this. You need answer to no authority, neither mortal nor divine. As you will it, so it shall be.